Wow, look at all that, all model. I wish I could review all of them. What's up everyone, Jess here for back with another quick review on G-Shock new release model across this year's since they already have been released so no need to go in depth with every one of them. So I'm just gonna give a general thoughts and my first impression on just the appearance. One minute for each month in three, two, one, go. We know this is going to happen eventually. All model will always comes out in this colorway. Second time for the Sky Cockpit model, but the first time for the Mark Master and the Golf Master. The first GB Sky Cockpit and the Golf Master will be my favorite above all. Like how basic, four models altogether, but only two that caught my eyes. Of course, the GWC900 and the GXW56 model. Excluding any collaboration models out there, glad to see this model again since the last time we saw this was back in 2012 in the Army Green series. This model is gonna always selling out really, really fast. Two new colorway for the GST line again. I'm not a big fan yet. To be honest, I'm not into the design shape and profile. Regardless, I do think the new all black with the rubber strap will be my choice compared to the all steel version. This will be the first time ever we saw Casio finally use a two layer band type on a basic line. Before this, we could only see this type of band being used in a higher end model like the Rangeman or the GPW Sky Cockpit. This really opens up a new level of color combination, and of course, we'll be seeing more of this applied in the upcoming models. I think the orange and black version in this series is pretty. As usual, crazy amount of color combination. Back then, we could only get this type of craziness from a collaboration model like both Dear Ricky and Evangelion Genesis. With that price point, the white one is hands down my favorite. Still applying two layer band but upgraded to reduce discomfort due to heat by putting holes all over the band like most Porsche watch do these days. The Army Green is the one that I would go for since the digital display in it has the same colorway as the band and bezel. I'm surprised that Casio actually picked a white colorway instead of black for the first release. 70,000 yen is the cheapest I could find out there and I'm very impressed with the simple design despite that it has a lot more functions built in compared to the previous Golf Master. Lastly, information once again come to collab with G-Shock on the new G-Glide line. The GX100 orange and tint blue combination is pretty nice for surfing or even summertime fashion. The new line really separates itself from other G-Glide models out there since it is easier to read and to check the type due to the new analog type display. Will I grab this? Yes, I will. I, I really want to go through all September release but I do not know how this discussion goes on G-Shock headquarters and all. Hey, your design guy. Uh, yes, sir. I want more new model. But, but sir, we already released a lot last month. I but said more new model. But, but sir, it's gonna take a lot, a lot of time. Okay, good.